Essential troubleshooting for Xperia smartphones. If you're having some trouble with your Sony Xperia, you can try these six troubleshooting tips to get your phone back up and running again in no time. Before we get started, however, it's always worth giving your phone a restart. This will solve the majority of the small issues you will encounter. Step one, the Xperia Support app. The Xperia Support app has a section named Xperia Tests, which can run diagnostics on the basic functions of your phone. This can give you some insight on if your phone is suffering from a real malfunction. Based on the feedback you receive, you can then take appropriate actions to resolve the issue. For example, you can uninstall a malfunctioning app. Step two, using the latest software. Software updates are regularly released and will often offer new features and address known bugs with your phone. Keeping your phone up to date with the newest software is the best way of avoiding common issues. You will normally receive a notification when software updates are available, but you can always check for updates manually. Step three, clear cached data for your apps. While using apps, you will build up files that your phone can use for reference later. This is called caching. Images, icons, and logos are common cached items that will be saved to your device, so you don't need to download them again, saving you a lot of time as well as mobile data. But if you don't clear the cache on a regular basis, it could be putting stress on the internal memory of your phone, making it run more slowly. Clearing your cache will not remove saved passwords, logins, or game saves, unless you also choose the clear storage option. Step four, reboot in safe mode. If you're still struggling, then you can try rebooting your phone in safe mode. Safe mode essentially allows the phone to launch without any third-party software running in the background. This can help you determine if the problem is with an app. To reboot in safe mode, long press the power button until the options appear as normal. Instead of tapping power off, long press the icon. After a couple of seconds, a reboot in safe mode prompt will appear that allows you to reboot. When your phone is restarting, safe mode will appear on screen, indicating that you are in safe mode. And to exit safe mode, you can simply reboot the phone as normal. If your phone is running well in safe mode, then this lets you know that the hardware is probably not the issue. At which point, you'll need to determine which app is causing the issue and uninstall it. Step five, perform a forced restart. If you're experiencing an issue that prevents you from using or restarting your phone, like a recurring boot screen or loading screen, you should try using a forced restart. You can do this by long pressing the power button and the volume button at the same time for 10 seconds. Step six, performing a factory reset. If all else fails, a factory reset will return your phone to its original factory settings. And while this could fix the issue, it also means that all of your data will be erased from your phone. We recommend backing up your data before a factory reset. Depending on how your phone is set up, a lot of your data may already be backed up through your Google account, but it's always worth checking. You can find the option for a factory reset inside Settings, System, Advanced, Reset Options, Erase All Data. If you're still having problems with your Xperia smartphone after trying each of these solutions, please visit the support website for further information by following the link in the description.